Glory be to Jesus. Good morning once again. This is Bishop James Hansen Saki of the Christ Church International. What a blessing again to come your way with God's word of hope for your day today. I believe this is the day God has made for you. You will rejoice and you will be glad. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you will not fail this day. You will not be sad this day. You will not be sorrowful this day in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I want to encourage you from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, reading from verse number 8. The Bible says that we are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed. We are not perplexed, but we are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not abandoned. Struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus Christ so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. In the verse number 14, it says, Because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus from the dead will also raise us with Jesus and present us with you to himself. The Bible says that we are going through life. We often suffer, but we are never crushed. Hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. We give God the praise for such a word. And as I come your way with this message, I pray that, Lord, it, it will be well with the people who hear this. The title of what I want to share with you briefly is, This is not the end of your story. This is not the end of your story. The Bible says we are knocked down, we get up again. We know that God raised the Lord Jesus to life. And just as God raised Jesus, he will also raise us to life. Then he will bring us into his presence together. As I just read in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8 to 9, and then the verse 14. You see, when the future is uncertain and there's a lot of fear, it might seem like your story is coming to an end. When you go through a lot of challenges, it feels like your story is coming to an end. But the Bible says we often suffer, but we are never crushed. The fact that you are going through some suffering doesn't mean you are crushed. You see, let me tell you this today as you go about your day. You may be in a situation where you have to tell yourself, I have just been knocked down, but I've not been knocked out. Even when we don't know what to do, we never give up. In times of trouble, God is with us. The scripture says so, what we just read. And when we are knocked down, we get up again. We know that God raised the Lord Jesus back to life. And just as God raised Jesus, he will also raise us to life. Then he will bring us into his presence. What an assuring word. So when life seems uncertain, remember this truth. You cannot lose you will win in the end. No matter what happens, even if you lose your life, you are even going straight to the presence of God if you are a believer in Jesus Christ. So in life, we are not losing. Even if you lose your life, so to speak, on this earth, you haven't lost it. You are going to the presence of Christ and you'll be rewarded. And when you arrive in heaven, your story is just at the beginning. It's just the same as the beginning. So both ways, you are not losing in life. You see, have you ever watched a TV show where every single episode ended in a cliffhanger and left you thinking the hero might not survive? Even though it's just a story, the tension can feel enormous. You watch these movies, these episodes, this series one and series two and all those ones. But what if all the episodes from all the seasons of the television series were all together? The complete series available to you through a streaming service or a collection of DVDs. Then when you are watching a cliffhanger episode, that's from the first season, you wouldn't feel as much tension because you know the hero survives for another six seasons. When you know the series will continue, then you know each episode is not the end of the story. The hero will make it out of a tight spot and onto the next season. You know that one. And that's how life is. Even when you are in a difficult circumstance this morning as you hear the sound of my voice, you will know that the tough spot isn't the end of your story. You may find yourself in some health tough spot, in some marital tough spot, financial tough spot, ministry tough spot. You can live with hope in the middle of a crisis when you have an eternal perspective. Just like the movie series, once we know the end, we are assured that our hero is not dying. You know this is not the end of the story. This life is not the end of your story. Your current situation this morning is not the end of your story. We don't know what the future holds, but we do know who holds the future. And into his hands we have committed 
committed our lives. This morning, in Jesus' name, commit your life into the one who holds the future. He holds the future. Jesus Christ is the one that holds the future. You may go through some sadness and stress and grief and pain, but I want you to know it is not the end of your story. You will come out well because the one who holds the future is holding your hands. Commit your future into the one who holds the future in his hands and is able to bring you safe landing. You will end very well in this life and end very well in the life after here by the name of Jesus and by the promise in the word of God. I pray for you this morning. Have this hope in you and tell yourself that in the name of Jesus Christ, you may have suffered a setback today and yesterday, but that is not the end of your story. You just tell yourself, I have been knocked down, but I've not been knocked out. If you watch boxing as I do like watching boxing, you will notice that sometimes at the beginning of the fight, someone may be knocked down. But if the person tells himself that I've just been knocked down, but I've not been knocked out, and the person gets up and continues to receive encouragement from his coach and the supporters around, he goes on. And sometimes we've watched matches like that and seen that in the end, this person who was knocked down in the first round ends up knocking out the other person by the 10th round and that is how life is. Tell yourself, I've been knocked down but I've not been knocked out. With Jesus in the boat, you will land safely in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray that you will cheer up this morning. Your current situation is not the end of your situation in life in the mighty name of Jesus. It's just a page in the story of your life. You will finish well like that hero in the series. In Jesus' mighty name, be comforted, cheer up, it shall be well with your soul. In Jesus' name, I pray for you today that God will favor you, God will strengthen you, God will restore you, and God will bring you to that place of significance and victory in Jesus' mighty name. Be favored today. You will finish very well in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And until I come your way again tomorrow, I'm Bishop James Antinsaki of the Christ Church International. You are more than a conqueror. Bye-bye.